Michigan Pipeline Replacement Project, Beyond the Expectation, Through One Team Approach. The project was executed in the Northern Territories of the Caspian Sea in the Republic of Kazakhstan. The Kashigan oil field is located into the sea approximately 80 kilometers southeast of the town of Atarau. The field development includes the production of crude oil and associated sour gas, or greater than 15% H2S, from the reservoir by a combination of offshore processing facilities and pipeline systems to transport the crude oil and gas to the onshore processing facility, or OPF, 40 kilometers east of Atirao. Here, oil and gas are treated, conditioned, and transferred by the existing infrastructures. The overall pipeline system from the D-Island offshore facilities to the onshore processing facility comprises two 28-inch sour oil and gas pipelines, 95.7 kilometers long, running in a northerly direction with an offshore length of 65 kilometers long from the top of the riser to the landfall location on the north coast of the Caspian Sea. The pipelines continue onshore to the processing facility with a total length of 30.7 kilometers, including 4.1 kilometers in the swamp area. The project presents a number of peculiarities. In the winter, the air temperature reaches up to negative 30 degrees Celsius, and the climatic conditions are aggravated by a strong cold northeasterly wind, creating extreme blizzard conditions. The water depth is very shallow in the area of development, ranging from approximately 4 meters at Kashigan oil field to 0 meters in depth at near the shore. There are seasonal and annual water level changes in the Caspian Sea and the sea becomes icebound during the winter season. The shallow water and swamp section cross a special environmental region called Sare Zone, located between the Progressive's KP52.3 and KP67 for an overall extension of 15 kilometers. In this protected area, the installation activities are not allowed in the period from the 1st of April to the 15th of July. The scope of work includes the replacement of oil and gas trunk lines in onshore, swamp section, and in shallow water sections. It also includes upgrade of the five onshore valve stations with valves replacement. The new 2 by 28 inch trunk line system is internally cladded to resist high corrosion conditions due to transport of crude oil and associated sour gas, or greater than 15% H2S. The contract was awarded on the 6th of March 2015. Bonatti achieved a readiness of operations before official award, performing the preparation and early works, which include logistic support, temporary construction facilities, winterization plan, personnel and equipment mobilization. Bonatti immediately started trenching activities in shallow water to respect the environmental restrictions. The total length installed is 90.4 kilometers, divided in 52.2 kilometers onshore, 8.2 in swamp, and 30 kilometers in shallow water. The two techniques used for laying were conventional in the onshore section and push and pull in shallow water and swamp due to impractical soil conditions. The scope includes tie-ins at battery limit with offshore section and onshore production facility, OPF. Total personnel at peak, 1,372 people, including rotation. Local workforce employed, 90%. Prefabrication yard and push and pull area were installed at KP65, including temporary construction facilities, or TCF, for this dedicated area. Preparatory works were executed before SARE zone restriction period. Trenching in shallow water was executed by 12 amphibious excavators. Dredging of trench and flotation channel of trunk lines in shallow water, or SARE zone, was completed on 4th of September 2015 versus 20 of November 2015, three months ahead of schedule. The post-trench survey ensured the full planarity of the width of trench with multi-beam echo sounder, or MBES, to avoid mechanical stress during the entire life of the system. 
The automatic welding for prefabrication of pipe strings was executed by six teams at Push and Pull Area, prefabrication yard at KP65. Pipe material is a corrosion-resistant alloy clad pipe, 15.9 millimeters or API 5L X60 plus 3 millimeter alloy 625. Welding teams worked continuously seven out of seven days in double shift. flotation of pipe string up to final location at battery limit with offshore section. Top of pipe survey executed with real-time kinematic technology. December 2015, Achirau International Airport. Arrival of Bonatti Welding System. The new challenge become early delivery to increase capital efficiency and maximize the return for the Kazakh Republic. Onshore section crosses the pipeline's corridor CPC KTO with more than five pipelines with different diameters 720, 1000, and 1200 millimeters in pressure. Six teams have performed automatic welding in onshore sections, 4110 joints. The welding requirements and acceptance criteria were ultra demanding with close to zero porosity due to leakage occurring in the original installation. Work shift. Two crews, seven out of seven in double shift. One crew, seven out of seven in single shift. One crew equipped with Bonatti Mechatronic Welding System Rob E1001 for automatic welding of onshore section, 52.2 kilometers long. Bonatti Mechatronic Welding System Rob E1001 allowed to satisfy the high demand of quality. Bonatti Rob E1001 guaranteed to get an easy control of the welding process and to satisfy the high demanding project requirements. 14 teams performed 390 tie-ins. Two crews, seven out of seven in double shift at KP65 prefabrication yard. Three crews, seven out of seven in double shift at onshore section. Two crews in single shift, DS. And two crews with semi-automatic Rob E1001 BNT. Total man hours worked, 3,297,984. Early delivery achieved, three months ahead of schedule, beyond any expectation, ready for new challenges.